Today we're going to talk about wiring a round flange motor, which in this case we're going to be using an A.O. Smith motor. We're going to call it a UST-1102, which will receive 115 by 230 volts, and the horsepower is one horsepower. When swapping a motor, it's always a good idea to do like for like. So if you have an existing motor that's a one horsepower, you're better off just to change it to a one horsepower. In the back, when we come in to wire this, this unit, we see here the capacitor. This is the starter. And then we have an incoming wire. Okay, so for sake of example, I just attached a pigtail. So you can see how, to, how this motor would be wired. Green would always go to ground, without exception. And then we have a black or a white wire. Sometimes they're multicolored, sometimes they're the same. And all that really happens is they clip. And it's a clip, and you can clip right on. Then you can take your bottom white wire and clip that on as well. White can be here, black can be here, white can be here. It doesn't matter. As long as green's the ground, these two are insignificant as long as they're clipped on. You'll notice this power is 230. So this motor will receive 230. How do you know your, your motor is wired correctly? You must check the motor that you have to see what it was wired. So if it was wired 230 on the motor diagram up top, you'll look at the motor diagram and you'll see what it was wired. If that's wired 230, your new motor must be wired 230. And in, on the newer models, it allows for easy adjustment. You can clearly see this motor is 230. If you were to have 110, you would wire the motor the same as we did, green to ground, black or white, makes no difference. But your adjustment screw would allow you to clip it and move this motor to 115. This motor will now accept 115 volts as current. If you were to have this in the wrong place, the 115 or the 230, you'll notice that if this motor is Y at 115 and we jumped it to 115, which we just did, and we supply power of 220, the motor will burn up. If we did it back and we said, well, we believe this motor to be 230 and we give it 115 volts of power, what would happen is the motor would go to full prime and begin to click. It would not run efficient and you would recognize that something's wrong.